Hi, this is Dr. Rob Rosbrook from HSS. We're going to go over a high tibial osteotomy for bow leg correction. You can see the patient is positioned supine. The medial side is approached through a 7 centimeter incision just at the proximal part of the tibia. Soft tissue is dissected down to the bone. Guide wires are inserted to plan the orientation of the osteotomy. The osteotomy started on the medial side, follows the orientation of the pins. The anterior part of the osteotomy is oblique, so as to avoid the tibial tubercle. The lateral cortex is not cut. An osteotome is used to further spread and complete the osteotomy, and laminar spreaders are used to open the osteotomy the precise amount to correct the deformity. This is all planned preoperatively based on um, radiographic planning and is confirmed intraoperatively in surgery. The opening wedge is maintained with the laminar spreaders and a locking plate is then inserted. It can be slid under the skin so as to avoid a large incision. Locking screws are then inserted. These are typically 5 millimeter locking screws placed after drilling with a 4.3 millimeter drill. Typically, the proximal segment is stabilized with four locking screws, and the distal segment is stabilized with three or four locking screws. This provides a very stable construct to stabilize and maintain the opening wedge correction. Once all the screws are in place, the laminar spreaders can then be removed and bone graft is then inserted into the open wedge. Again, the lateral cortex has not been cut. Uh, this osteotomy and correction is based on, on the concept of hinging on the lateral cortex. And the incisions are simply closed. Thank you for your attention. I hope that this has been an informative review of high tibial osteotomy opening wedge to correct bow leg.